Okay, we are. I'm just going to give a quick vid at the moment of the uh, 890 Ju car. The mods have done and the mods are planned to do. So here she is, this is the 2022 KTM 890 Duke car. Let me just give you a quick walk around the bike. It just has its 600 mile service. Um, it has got a 14 litre tank, um, 890 parallel twin, but you'll, you'll already know that. And it's awesome, 121 horsepower um, and bags of torque for a, a, a parallel twin. Obviously I've got the GT in there, but um, absolutely loving this. So what have I done so far other than standard? So I've put the power parts, hat bar and mirrors, really, really good quality, as you'd expect from power parts. Really, really pleased with them. So they are ace, and it just sort of declutters the whole front where here was the actual mounting point for the standard one. So they sort of come up here and around. I think they look horrible, get in the way really pleased with the sort of clean look of that what else have i done i've put the obligatory evo tech rad guard on uh, after i got a hole in the um, in a radiator after i think a few days of ownership of a bmw s1000 uh, without a rad guard always put that on as the first mod i ever do what else have i done i've put the sc project sp1 exhaust on uh, the original one is a completely unsightly, horrible thing. Looks like it's been welded by a blind person or a monkey, one of the two. Um, apologies if I've insulted anyone there. Um, I've left the decat, sorry, I've left the cat in, although I'm going to change that, I think, in the future. Uh, well, I'm not quite sure on that one yet. So I've got the exhaust on. This is actually a KTM Power Parts tail tidy believe it or not and when I picked the bike up I actually thought they hadn't put one on because look at the state of that that's not a tail tidy anyway they've obviously done it to comply with EU regs so that was an absolute waste of 200 quid so if anyone wants it give me a shout I'll be putting that up for sale and putting a new one on it's got the standard tyres on which are the power cup 2 ace tyres um, not too good in the cold wet stuff today um, what else have we done oh I've put the obligatory uh, Optimate uh, charger connector so literally every time the bike goes in the garage it goes straight into the Optimate and it just conditions and goes through a cycle of charge and load on the battery so I never ever have a problem with the batteries whatsoever uh, what else have we done I think at the moment that's it oh that's right I've also done the I paid for the KTM tech pack so that allows you to uh, go into track mode, you can do the, the, the drift on the back, you can have rear ABS off, like sort of super moto, you can change the ABS, uh, you can change, you have the wheelie off, wheelie on settings, and a whole variety of other stuff, and I'll do a separate vid on what that is. But that's it so far. So what am I planning to do moving forward? Well, as I said, I'm definitely changing the tail tidy to either an Evo Tech 1 or RNG. I am definitely going to be going into case suspension and getting the suspension set up for me to my weight um, because it, uh, what am I now, 92 kilograms, so I'm sure this isn't set up for a heavy treader like me. So I'll get that sorted and, and that will transform the bike. Also, because this is an uh, uh, Euro 5 spec bike, um, whilst I'm loving the bike and the fueling is really good, it can be improved. So I'm going to get that remapped um, there's a company called Junction 22 uh, up the M6 who have got exactly this bike and as a dem uh, sorry, as a, a development bike so they're doing that at the moment so I'm going to go there and get that done you're seeing really good improvements so far I'm also thinking of changing these whilst they're sort of discreet in there that I like the LED ones, the small LED ones don't know whether to get the uh, protectors for the lamp at the front for the headlight i've got it on my gt because i did get a, a stone crack so i might do that 
Um, what else? I think that's it for the moment. Um, yeah, just going to play it by ear. So I said, basically it's suspension, tail tidy, think about the decat, and the remap is what I'm going to be doing, uh, definitely. So that's it for now, I think. And then I'll, I'll come back with another vid and just sort of walk you around some of the spec of the bike, because it's got top end, top end components on here. Everything from the Stylema brakes, the, light, the lighter wheels, the large uh, WP Apex suspension, ace, ace bike. So anyway, it's just had its 600 service done. Uh, I'm going to give it a bit of a clean ACF 50 and uh, get ready for some more riding. Thanks for watching, guys. If you've got any questions about the bike or you want me to sort of give you an idea about how I'm finding certain things, if you consider one of these, give me a shout. Uh, that's the other thing just to mention briefly. Obviously, the brakes are absolutely superb. I mentioned the style, the style emas, but it's got also the Brembo brakes here where you can actually control the ratio. I think it's from 19 up to 21 ratio really good feel of if, if anything uh, too good for the bike um you gotta be really really gentle with them but it's one one finger braking so there she is i'm really enjoying it so far um if you've already got one of these hope you're enjoying it equally if you think about one of these don't hesitate get yourself down to the dealership get a get a ride buy a new one buy a second hand one i think that i have never had the 790 obviously i went straight to the 890 due car uh, from what I'm hearing, I would try and go for the 890 if I could. Uh, it is a step change in terms of performance, suspension, ride quality, etc. Over the 790, I believe. Um, so yeah, really enjoying it so far. Catch you all soon. Thanks for watching.